Alright, what's up YouTube, man? It's your boy, one Zach. I am back with another video. I ain't gonna lie, we haven't did a podcast, the whole vlog, but I know y'all missed these hoes. So we're gonna bring it back. Y'all see by the title, we're gonna talk about 10 things boys hate about girls. Not even 10 things. We're gonna talk about things that boys hate about girls, period. To my left, I got my nigga Justin. Introduce yourself. What's up, I'm Justin. Um, I just found out he a rapper too, y'all. Yeah, I've been making music. <laughs> hey, when I start when I start dropping again, I'll have more to say though. I bet now I got my nigga Marquise to the right talk to. You already know, Hooper God, you already feel me. With that ah, fake ass money for motion picture ah, only. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'm gonna start it off. Look, I'm finna start off, bro. I'm on y'all females' ass, by the way. I'm not giving y'all no slack, but at the same time, I still love some of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about the ones I'm describing. So don't be thinking I hate females. No, I love y'all, especially my black queens. Hit my DM. Anyway, so first thing I say. I hate females that let their friends like control their life. But don't blame your friend fucking control what you do, who you talk to, what you work for, all that shit. Like fuck your friends, bro. They shouldn't have that much impact over your life. That's number one on my list. Vote to come if you agree with me. What you got? Number two. Listen to all you women out there. Talk to me. Hate this shit. Know what you want before you commit to someone. If you want a nigga who gonna take care of you and love you and do all this shit for you, then then say that shit. But if you want a nigga who just gonna bust you down a couple days of the week, you feel me, and won't hit you up and only hit you up when you need him, make it known. Like, well, if you just want a friend or a friend with benefit, let that be known too. Cause niggas be down for that shit too. I agree with that shit. I agree with that too. And also, I don't like it. A lot of girls be leading people on. They be acting one way, right? Yeah, and then once you start acting the same way back, then they also all oh, right. Like, like, oh, 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 that shit is. That shit is dumb, bro. Like, oh, and bro, like, <laughs> and the thing is, like, that shit happened twice to me in college right now. And it's like we in, we in college. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, you, you need to be honest with me. Like, say if that was like some high school shit. That's one thing, but like, we in college, we, we in college like. The fuck? That's, like, that's shit dumb as fuck. Like you can hang out with a girl every fucking day. Y'all could be all caked up and everything. Next thing you know, oh I was nibble on that type shit. What? Nigga, I'm fucking lying. Like nigga, what? Nigga, what? You think like, I was just drive with you every day bro, of the fucking like, week? Like, you laying in your bed, bro. Like you're like you're laying in my bed with me. Like, <laughs> and but no, we was just friends. That's what I do to all my friends. Like stop the cap, stop the cap. Be realistic. You got back with your ex, bro. Let's be real. Let's be real. I'm talking. You right here with whoever just watching it. You know you got back with your ex, bro. Stop capping. All right. So next up. I'm going to say girls who post too much information on social media. Like, every time you get an argument, you don't have to go to social media. Like, nigga, we grown-ups. Like, text my phone, nigga. Text me on Snapchat. You got all my contacts. Do not go on Snapchat make no petty-ass fucking post, sub-tweeting shit, and have people all in our fucking business. That shit lame as fuck. That, if you do that shit, I can't that, fuck with that you. That also... And I feel like part of them doing that goes for, like, attention and wanting people to have some sympathy for them. Like, yeah, that's how shit. Mo most people that see that, that come across that shit, they're, they believe, they're not going to give a fuck. Unless, unless unless you're simping over the bitch. You're only going to give a fuck if you're simping over the bitch. But, like, say if you're a random person on social media, you come across that, you're not going to give a fuck what they got to say. Talking about what they got going on with that relationship shit. All right. Facts, facts. Marquise, you got something for this one? Shit. I'm just going to say, if you going to break up with a nigga or if you're going to do some shit, do that shit in person. <laughs> hey, stop! Don't don't do shit over the phone. That shit's lame as hell. Like, grow up, be a grown ass woman, drop that fucking pussy, and like, bro, for real, like, do shit in person. Nah, it could be this for niggas too. This shit for niggas too. Like, like, don't be on no pussy shit and do shit over like, um, yeah, the phone. Do shit in person. That shit yeah, like makes you. A, yeah. we, we understand more than if you do it to the man. Like you do it to message, like you op now. Like we yeah. gotta see as op. Like nigga, what the fuck? We've been together this long, and then you just text yeah. me a breakup, nigga. Like tell me that shit in person so I can understand where you come from, shit like that. Like I, I can't why. understand nothing if like I ain't gonna say you owe me closure, but damn, if you no, fuck you me that much, you kind of do. You do owe me closure. Owe Actually, me closure. yeah, yeah. If you break up me over the text, like that's some bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta it's tell closure. me in person. Oh, girls that don't give niggas enough personal space. Like, okay, you can be clean. Okay, I fuck with clean girls. But to a certain extent, like, bro, you got to give me room to grow. You can't just be all up on me all the time, worry about who I'm hanging out with, going through my followers, going through pictures I like. Like, bro, it's a, if it's a bad female on my timeline, I'm going to like her picture, okay? Like, it's not cheating. It's just like, niggas, it's not, it's not, bro, come it's on. It's not cheating. It's basically, you just, it's just a picture. And I'm not disrespecting you. It ain't it's like really, I'm DMing that person. It's just a picture because, oh, look, it's just a picture. If As long as you're not talking to that person at the end of the day, we're doing something with ill intention, then you're straight. I bet it, it's, it be celebrities I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, like, no regular ass. I'm talking about, if I like celebrity photo, why you like Beyonce photo? Nigga, everybody in the world like Beyonce photo, bro. Like, get off my dick, bro. It's fucking Beyonce. 
on me. Like girls, I don't like insecure girls. That's another one. Fuck, I'm going back to back. Insecure girls, I fucking hate them type of girls, bro. Like, bro, like I like a girl that know her. Name my anybody what I like. I take insecure girls, bro. Like, don't be insecure, bro. It's okay to have your own insecurities, but insecure girls, women ruin everything. Just based off the fact that even if you have women hitting you up and you don't even hit them up, they they, automatically they, they, they think hit. something's going on. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. That's bullshit right there. What is it? All right, next home. God, I don't know. <laughs> Look at the people first. What's up, bro? Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> All right, my bad. All right, y'all, we back. So next up, I say dramatic girls, bro. I fucking hate dramatic girls. Like, why the fuck you doing the most in public? Don't be in public. Fucking making a fucking scene if we get into an argument or some shit. <laughs> yeah, talking about, yeah, so dramatic. You got to come with some good shit. We've really been on their ass this All time. Right, talking about, ass. All right, talking about, so we started over here now. Nah. How we started over? All right, so shit, I'm going to say. We already talked about it. We probably talked about it. Talking about no female line. Oh, no, we talk about if they lie, they gonna cheat. If they cheat, they gonna steal. If they steal, they might kill you. <laughs> they might do all that. So, female. Yeah, your line so, is real. So, so line yeah. Me, instant, you, instant. Because it's like, what you lying for? Just keep that shit on, honey. So, even if it's something small. Like, if you lie about something small, come on now. You, you gonna lie, lie about anything. You gonna lie about something small, anything. All right, next up. Actually, your turn. Go. You gotta skip, bro. Um, another thing we hate. Like, this whole idea that, like, Oh, niggas got to do niggas got to do everything bro like come on like this it, it take two to tangle type shit I hate this whole idea that goddamn these zodiacs really yeah, yeah. these hoes I, 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 got it. Shit, I hate zodiac bro. signs too another thing bro don't bring up somebody ex or somebody in their past against them like you know what I'm saying? Like, they always think you going back to your ex. You're like, bro, we not going back to these hoes. They coming to us, this, nigga. We ain't going back to them. They coming to us, bro. So relax. Nah, I'm playing. Let me chill out. They going to screenshot that shit. I mean, screen record. Yeah. All right, so next up. Y'all like clingy girls or like girls that like more like got their own shit going on? Sure, I, like, I like both. Me too. Oh, it don't matter. Yeah. Shit, because like if she clingy, you know, that's cool. You know that she always down for you and shit. And then she got her own shit going on too. That's good because you don't want no bum bitch. Yeah. You feel me? So I like a busy girl, but not too busy. Like busy enough where I could wonder what the fuck you doing, but not you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can be clinky but not clinky where uh it starts taking up some of your space, like when you want some own time when you yeah. and when you're like, I'm good today or like I don't wanna do this today and she's gonna take it the other way. Yeah. That's when it gets Ooh, okay, okay. How you feel about that? Uh, you want a clingy bitch or you want like a I guess boss bitch. I mean, me personally, I just like the clingy thing that that shit cute in the beginning, but <laughs> I want somebody that got their own stuff going on because I'm a busy individual. I got my own stuff going on. You feel me? Like whatever business is, you feel me? School, you feel me? Sports. So you feel me? I'm not going to. Sometimes I don't feel like being bothered. I had them times a lot of times. I don't feel like being bothered. I might yeah, not. Me too. I time might time not want to text my mama, my daddy. No, no, nothing. I just might want to. My little bit of time, just play on the game, take my ass to sleep, do what I got to do. No one had to talk to nobody, you feel me? Shit, I just be having them days, so you just got <laughs> to you you understand. understand me because I'm a real difficult-ass person to understand, so. <laughs> All right, I got two next. First, I'm going to say, I hate a needy bitch, bro. A needy female, my bad. I ain't even call y'all bitch. A needy female, bro. Like, you shouldn't need me from that, especially at my age, bro. Like, girls be trying to be on social media, like, if he ain't bring them to a relationship, what you need them for? What the fuck you mean? You think I'm finna be in this old buying you a fucking Lamborghini or some shit? Like, bro, you dumb as fuck. You think I'm finna do that shit? You a clown if you think that shit. <laughs> and another thing, I hate fucking, um... Let me get one. Yeah, you go. I shit. forgot the other one. A lot of shit y'all be asking for. A lot of shit they be asking for be unrealistic. Yeah. <laughs> be unrealistic. Bitch, you want a Birkin bag? Like, bitch, you can't afford it yourself. Don't ask me about nothing you can't bro, afford yourself, bitch. Yeah, Birkin, no. bro, Birkin bags be like 45K, 60K. You can't buy it three times over to don't get it. Bro, but I'm not buying it. No that, that's even worse, bro. It's like you only got a you only got a crib yet, and you you want in a Birkin bag. And you're not even gonna market the Birkin bag, right? You feel me? How many times you gonna wear that bag? <laughs> like that's dumb. Wait, what's the question? I'm gonna take control of this. What's the question you had? <laughs> but when you toxic, because everybody say the word, but I wish I actually like find that stuff. Like, Toxic, toxic. I, I feel like toxic I is. I feel like it's when you're doing something. When you're doing something and the result you get, you don't even, you don't care about the result. It had, the result, the result was no type of way beneficial. Mm, I ain't really got. Let me see. I ain't got no fucking like definition for. I give you an example. Like 
a toxic girl is like a girl that want to get in an argument, then you get home, then she all want to be all up on you. Like, I was just playing. Like, After like, you already mad. Like, you know I'm mad now, so there's no point doing that shit. Like that, that shit toxic. Like, why, are you, why are you going to get in an argument and, but like I said, you're not going to get nothing from it. Like, no result. So, that's toxic. Right. I say my definition of toxic is a little... Little saying I got bullshit is as bullshit does. You do bullshit, shit. I'm calling that toxic, and it's like they know it too. They know what they doing, and they continuously do it. Like you bullshitting right now. Shit, I feel like what's understood don't got to be explained. Like certain shit, you should just be able to see. Like a person can only hide their character for so long. If you know what I'm saying, like yeah. even oh, even. Bro, don't we do that? You feel me? Even like with dudes, like either dudes or females, like a person can only fake their personality for so long, then their true colors gonna come out. So when, so once, once you start to see the real, you just gotta just distance yourself. But shit. That's the word man. I mean, uh, fake vibes. No, like this is, what, this is what I mean by toxic. All right, so look, they play hard to get right, but then when you on some trying to get them out the court, they on some. No, I wanna stay. Like, what's the? What are you doing, bro? You gotta make up your mind. Like, don't be playing these mind games. Shit, like. I don't play that shit. <laughs> like, I ain't going to better understand you. All right, let's switch the vibe. So how you know, how y'all know if the female, like, the right one for you or, like, say, for instance. Ooh, yeah, this. simply that. Yeah, simply I that. Probably answer this. Ain't no female the right one. You can think she the right one. You can believe it 100%, but she's going to do something. That changes your that's perspective and view on her. I'm telling nah, you. Honestly, bro, honestly, you know she the right one. You might like try to like. Yeah, like I ain't like niggas, bro. We know if a girl the right one, we a fuck with or not. Like, if you see a girl, you talk to her one time, you gonna know if you want to just fuck on her, you want a relationship, with, you gonna know this shit. So like, you might try to hide the little screen in your head, like, oh nah. Even you see red flag, you probably try to hide it and be like, nah, she's still the one, even though you know she's not the one deep down inside. That's probably what you was doing. Like, bro, if she the one, everything gonna connect, bro. You ain't gonna have to. Like, uh, let's see, like the girl that's on her phone, so you ain't gonna have to worry about a bitch on her phone. She gonna be showing her interest up front. She's not gonna be, like, everything's just gonna make sense, bro. Like, you ever met a girl that everything just made sense? Like, yeah, that's why I feel like the one. Then you'll get that little feeling type shit. I agree, too. I love y'all. I'm just saying that feeling. You just know. All, all it takes is, like, because there's a lot of people, like, but all it takes is, like, one person for you to uh, fuck with their vibe. And, like, if you enjoy their time, you know what I'm gonna be thinking about. No shit off of lust and shit like that. Yeah, like you ain't gonna just fuck. You're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be thinking like you said. Like when you meet a girl after you share a conversation or something, you are gonna know if you just want to fuck or you actually want to talk to her or get with her. I got a question. Hey, could y'all ever see ourselves dating a stripper, porn star, or OnlyFans content creator? No. Here we go. <laughs> No. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about this. Well, she like, she Justin the knows. Oh, shout out, shout out to Adam. Shout out to Adam and his girl. Um, her own money. um, she makes her own money. She does the right things, and she most of them. You see, most women in that position, they have an open view on things. They view like the world completely different because well, they even. No, because some of them just be struggling. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah, some struggling, and some don't. Some actually like thriving that shit, yeah. and they make like good livings off of like million do- millionaires and stuff. Ooh, she gave me talking about like strippers and like porn stars. It can be anything. Yeah. You know, if you strip in the right place in Houston, yeah. shit, you gonna make money. All right, so you, so you, you feel like you a fuck with the girl that's money. If she got her shit on straight and like, I actually see she not like doing it for no foul intent. Yeah. And some females that be strippers, but you won't even know they strippers. Yeah, it's on here. Know. I'm glad, man. Yeah, we're at a party. Right I'm glad. You won't even know it. I can introduce it. It's all because of like, how <laughs> they the hold fuck is tasty, bro? Too. What the fuck? All right, my answer is I can't, bro. All right, if you only OnlyFans, I might can't. If you're just doing solo content that you're not like doing too much, like you ain't putting a dildo inside your ass and shit, <laughs> please don't yellow mark the video YouTube. But yeah, if you doing something like that, I can't fuck with you. Nah, fuck, I can't fuck with none of that. I, got, I live by morals, bro. If you throwing away your morals for a bag, can't do it. Go grind somewhere else. I'm sorry. But hey, you say fuck up your morals for a bag, but that's the same thing with like, say for instance, like for dudes, like some people, they got to do that shit to eat, you feel me? Because either you're going to eat or you're going to starve. Yeah, so like, say for instance, dudes though, you say go against morals, like say for instance, like you like come up in the slums, like you don't got no choice but like to rob people or like, nah, you can feel or like, it's, like, it's always a way. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Yeah, it's it's always a way, way. bro. It's, I'm telling you, it's a way, bro. It's, it's some type of way. It's just people it's don't... It's hard as your mindset. It's because people, it's cause people don't have the right person next to them trying to like show them the right no. way. That's what I'm like. It makes like no life story type shit, but bro, nah. I don't believe that shit. I feel like I, I, feel like I could date one, 
But as far as like marry, like nah, I don't think I can. So you can't marry. You can't so you can date. I don't, I, don't, I don't think. I don't think I could marry. That's different. She ain't that. She got. She got. She got, the, no she she got she money, money. She got. She got money, money. So that's. <laughs> Like, hey, what if, what if like she switched? What if she changed? Like you what? saw her like change and shit. She went from being all that shit. No, but look, the thing is, son, look, say if you're a stripper, been. say if you're a stripper, that's kind of different. But say if you're like a OnlyFans create, uh, creator, adult star, that content is on the internet forever. If you're yeah, a stripper, man, OnlyFans, like, you choose to do that. Stripper, that's more like, oh, I need to do that. I'm not saying you're like a bad girl because you can still have good morals, like Marquis said, be open minded. But yeah, no, nah, the out stripper, no, nah, stripper, I could definitely marry for sure. But OnlyFans and porn star, I don't know because that content gonna be in the internet forever. Yeah, All right, next one. Hold on, I got next one. So, another thing I hate about females, the girls that be like, I'm fine, I'm okay. Knowing deep down inside, they hurt as fuck, they mad at you and shit. They gonna hold that little grudge in so that one time they get the opportunity, they gonna bust and just start exposing everything at once. Yes. Like, damn, just tell me up front. Like, communication skills, yeah, I hate girls without communication skills. What's wrong? What's wrong? They don't tell you nothing. Tell you and all of a sudden, you get into one small argument. And they all say, boom, boom, blow they up like a fucking ball. It's like, nigga, I've been, I was asking this from the jump, what is wrong? And now you're pulling this bullshit. Like, communication is key. It's key hanging on God. I can't fuck with a girl that can't communicate. Like, that's what I learned. Oh, that's what I learned. Communication is the biggest, is one of the biggest things in a relationship. All right, what you think about that? You said niggas. I heard you say niggas the same way. Oh, yeah, because shit, I know as a, as a dude, nigga, I do the same shit sometimes. <laughs> shit, communication is key. Simple as that. So, shit, that shit go on both sides, though. Like, yeah. both men and women got to put in effort. Like, that shit just ain't going to work one side. Yeah, that's my issue like, every time, man. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta put in a little bit more, and likewise, shit. Cause sometimes shit ain't gonna be all good, shit. Motherfuckers gonna go what, through. What do you mean by putting in more? So you like sometimes, shit. What do you sometimes say? Like, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. But sometimes, like, like you gotta, you yeah. gotta, you gotta be willing that's to pick, pick the other person up. That's what yeah, I'm saying. You can't consistently do that. That's just insanity, bro. You're just doing the same shit. I mean, she, uh, well, you know, if you see that, it's, it's only insanity if the person not trying and you expecting you. a different result. If they, the person's if trying, that's something trying, different, though. You know what I'm saying? But how, you, how you know if they're trying and not trying? If you, you see, see it, though. You see it, though. You see that nigga trying. You see a motherfucker yeah. really trying. You can tell when a motherfucker really trying and bullshit. You can tell when a nigga bullshit, too. Just leave their ass. See what they had to do. Because if the nigga going at the nigga. You, he, you leave his ass, nigga, going out of his way to do whatever he can to get back with you, the nigga's trying. You feel me? Hey, please, oh. please. Next up, I please. hate fucking he groupies. He put his pride oh. I hate groupies, bro. Like, don't be a groupie, what man. Definition of a groupie? Like, a girl that just follow groups. Like, like she want to do whatever the crowd doing. Like, she want to do what's he trending. What's what's yeah, I know nigga, nigga the same way, but I'm just saying in general, though. Like, I feel like nowadays, like, a lot of shit, we saying this shit, though, both ways. It, it do, like, but. Like, like it do. I'm just going from my personal experience. No, I hate group, groupies, bro. Groupies, groupies can go in there. Groupies be like, a lot of Like, you said, I didn't send the 4 PO shit up there. That's how that girl be. Not be bro, he pull said, up on me. I kill a nigga for you, bro. Oh, he tried to spit him. He tried to spit him. He tried to him. He tried to spit 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 him. All right, so next up, I had a girl that wants you to solve all their problems. Like, bro, you a grown ass woman. Yeah, I'm a grown ass man. I'm not doing that shit. Like, I can help you. You can help. I only can help so much. That's what I'm saying. Help, but you can't. You can help, but you can't solve nobody's problems. Like, you can. You can be a helping hand. You can be support. But you got to be the. You got to be the main source of solving that problem. It starts. It starts with you first. Mm -hmm. A lot of time, these motherfuckers. A lot of time, these people problems be way deeper than anything <laughs> somebody else can solve. Like you need, you need to get you, you need God, Jesus, God, God, whoever you believe in. You need to take that with the Lord, cause there be people that real life be going through shit, but they expecting a nigga or their little boyfriend to help them get through that shit. Like ain't nothing this nigga could really like that shit. Some of that shit be deep. Like I didn't even see some like you tell it, like I can't do nothing. You feel me? Like this trauma. Like I can't. You feel me? I can. You all I can do is pray for you. Well, I got another question. I got another question. You need, really you need That's Jesus. That's real, but nobody's just gonna come being realistic and If God ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Then it won't get done. Yeah, it won't get done. <laughs> right, this is probably not a good question, but do y'all care about girls that wear makeup? Like, y'all really a girl that don't wear makeup, but that wear makeup. I don't, give a fuck. I don't really give a fuck. Just don't wear it too much. Like, don't. Hold on, look. 
Don't catfish me, bro. Like, don't, don't be on that. <laughs> don't catfish no, me. I got catfish folks. Like, like girls that will make up and all they pictures on you, me in person, it's like, who the fuck are you? This ain't who I agreed to meet up with. Like, who is this nigga? Like, like you're look. not catfishing with the makeup. Yeah. yeah, as long as you're not catfishing with the makeup. <laughs> as long as you're not catfishing with it, and as long as you're not over overdoing it. But I fuck, I actually fuck with makeup. It's cool. Makeup On me, nigga, like, I fuck with makeup hard. But I'm going to marry, my woman going to be a woman where if she don't wear makeup, she's still going to be bad as fuck. You know, I don't want makeup. I don't want makeup to be like the deciding factor, nigga. Like, I don't want you, oh, I got to wake up. I got to put makeup on. Like, I want you to wake up, so I can wash my face, do my hair, boom, I'm good. You feel me? What you said, I don't really like makeup like that, man. Nah. You don't like it? Like, it's cool. Like, <laughs> once in a blue moon, wedding day, like prom oh, yeah. or whatever, yeah. like, like I'll let, I let you have it. But, like, on the everyday basis, I'm not oh, dating no, 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 no girl with no makeup. Oh, no, 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 you know what makeup I like, hate the most? Like, if you chill in the crib, if you chill in the crib, then you don't need to be wearing that shit. But say if you go out, say if you go out and run a uh, party or some shit, run, run an errand, you, you can put that shit on, but, like, Go to a party, you can put the show on. But if you're chilling in the crib, yeah, say you, you with, you with uh, some friends or some shit, brothers, sisters, mom and dad, then you don't need that shit, bro. Because the people you're comfortable with, who you trying to impress. No, funny shit. I know the worst makeup possible, though, they'd be that birthday makeup, bro. <laughs> Girls be having all that fucking glitter and shit. Like, they regular makeup be looking straight. Yeah, you know the what? birthday makeup no, be ugly. That color yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you like a, that's me personally. I'm a boy, so my opinion probably don't matter, y'all. So don't get my ass. You like a you like peacocks, <laughs> nigga. But the reason makeup really fucks shit up, because you, know, you see on TikTok where it'd be these, no disrespect, these women that I don't think that many niggas would be into, yeah, and then they do makeup, and it's like, they went from like a three to like a ten, bro, yeah, and it's yeah. like, don't ever get on a date with me, and I see you, and then I see you after your makeup, bro. What you gonna do? Like, I, <laughs> like that's the thing. Like, niggas say, niggas say they gonna do something, but when it happens to a nigga, it's like you just like, yeah, in the moment, you don't like know. what the hell? You just, we just leaving. You know, she you take her makeup off. She pull off. Good. She pull out her teeth. What you doing? Oh my god! Oh my god. It's Jesus. She nah, pull her teeth. That's a grandma. Go. That whole got that ain't veneer. What the uh, most called? Dentures. That's what they call them. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So next up, I hate a girl. Don't. I don't think. Do we already talk about this? A girl that don't tell you what they want. Do we yeah, already talk, yeah, about, we that? Talk about that? Yeah, talk about she, that. She should have sitting there waiting for shit to go right. All right, food. I'm gonna say food for example. Girls do not know what the fuck they be wanting to eat, bro. They be like, we eat anything. Then once you say, all right, let's go eat this, they be like, nah, I don't want that. Damn, then you say I can pick. So tell us what the fuck you want, cause that shit gonna piss me off. Like the old folks say, quiet mouths don't eat. So she you better tell me what you want, or you won't get shit. Be simple, simple, cause shit, I don't know what I want till the last second. So you better say you hungry or something. Cause if you don't shit, your ass gonna be grass. Oh, alright, I got next. Alright, this should be good. Alright, I hate girls that just try to hint that shit. Like, stop hinting, nigga. Just tell me, nigga. Like, be straightforward. I feel like we already talked about this though. But still, I hate girls that like try to throw little hints. Like, don't be hinting me, bro. You're a grown ass woman. I feel like you can say whatever you think. You don't need to hold back or sugarcoat. Don't sugarcoat either. I hate girls that sugarcoat shit. Don't sugarcoat because that's only gonna yeah, get somebody gonna fucked over the in the future. Yeah, it's gonna build a fire up. On the podcast. I got a question. Have any of y'all ever seen the video of Ari Fletcher where she was doing with her gay best friend? Oh, yeah. I ain't like Ari. Right, all right. All right. All right. So check this out. How how would y'all feel if y'all was in that situation and that, and that was y'all girl? I'm like, you, you cheated on me, bitch. You sit there and cheated on me. I don't give a fuck if this nigga say he's gay. Oh, we ain't no, talking about nigga. best friend shit. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. I asked yeah. him about that earlier. But yeah, that, we, we can go into that. Fuck you. Well, best like, friend. would y'all let y'all girl have a boy best friend? best friend? Yeah. You know, that nigga knows his place and shit. Not all of them, man. A lot. No, if, if if he knows his place, I don't care. But if he one of them niggas where he like, he iffy, iffy, and I'm like, nah, I don't want you to hang with that nigga. Like, cut him off of you and me. I love him. I got you. I love him. I got you. It's going to be quick. All right, so look, first, <laughs> nah, look, for, I'm not like no, um, what's it called? Um, no controlling ass nigga. So, like, if you already knew the nigga before you met me, it's cool, but if you met him while we was together, like randomly, like we together six months in, you randomly all of a sudden got a boy best friend. Nah, that shit kind of suspicious to me. That's sus. That's yeah, a that sneaky link right sus, there. Though. Think about it, like where he come from? Like how you meet this nigga? Yeah, popping up out the blue. You can have a you can have one like that, but you know how when you know how when girls be uh, at a party or they're turning up, they twerking on each other and yeah. shit. Yeah, the yeah uh, the the person might be gay, but. Uh, 
If he has a dick at the end of the day, nah. The shit, the shit, the shit not sliding. Even if that nigga's gay, bro. And even if that shit look friendly as fuck. Then they got a dick. I can't go for that. She can switch a nigga. What good question you got, Marquis? You haven't asked no question. Oh, shit, shit. Nigga, podcast. Tell me how y'all days was. What's how y'all days? <laughs> chilling, chilling. Hey, y'all pray for me, bro. I've been having this pain in my foot. Anybody that see this, <laughs> anybody that know me, man, pray for me, man. I need some healing. Real talk. Yeah. But I've been chilling. Yeah, good. Shit, my day been straight too, huh? I ain't really did shit today. I just been getting ready, you know. I'm to leave for Houston, get ready for Christmas, man. Y'all, by the time y'all seeing this, it's gonna be Christmas Eve, I think. So shit, Merry Christmas. Y'all watching on Christmas, whatever. Shit, my day was good. I was just preparing uh, for tomorrow. I'm going back home for Christmas. Uh, just picking out the clothes I'm about to wash and stuff, shit like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, like some girls be like, all oh, niggas the same. I don't like that shit. Don't tell me this shit, especially not in person. Don't tell me this shit in person. Like that, that made me feel like that made you basically compare me to one of your other niggas. Like don't compare me to no nigga, bro. That's how shit be happening. Just stop comparing a nigga to your ex, bro. This is a new nigga. Don't bring your ex in front of me because I'm like, yeah. Don't bring up your ex. Don't talk about your ex. That's a red flag. Don't talk about shit you and your ex did. I don't give a fuck about that nigga. <laughs> like what? Like if you if you in my vicinity, why are you talking about another nigga? Why? You should, you should be like, talking about me. Like nigga, I am with you. Else? That nigga's in the past. What was reason. the question? Oh, good. Like all niggas, girl, all niggas. Nah, oh, the females that say all dudes is the same. That's automatic. Like turn off, like off rip. Cause it's like that. That ain't like you sound like damn as goods at that point. Like cause that ain't need to be known. Like everybody that had like a messed up relationship and they. They lifetime, but like to start off by saying like, I don't even know you. You feel me? That's how I really be. Like I could be really just getting to know you, and you say niggas ain't shit or something like that. I'm like, and look, when, when, who when, are you? When, when you're doing that shit, you're already creating problems you're gonna find in somebody because everybody gonna have yeah, a, like he, everybody gonna have a flaw. Everybody gonna be better in one aspect other than the other. So you just already looking for. Uh, Faults. Yeah, then you make one little mistake, they gonna make think, oh, he doing the same shit my ex was doing. I gotta leave him. What? Facts. Like, damn. Like, I got a question. This could be the last <laughs> time if you want to. Hey, who y'all think cheat more, men or women? We know this answer, bro. Women. 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 Why is that? For every. Black men don't cheat. Okay. For every one. <laughs> and for the ones that say black men do cheat, now y'all be fucking with little boys. Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Well, ain't that what we For say? every. For every woman a nigga got, a bitch got five niggas. And I'm sticking with that yeah, shit. Yeah, niggas be horny as fuck. I'm be niggas like, be horny, horny as horny. fuck. They will fuck anything. It could be the ugliest girl watching this right now. Somebody probably Some, fucking yeah, this shit. Some, niggas <laughs> want you. Niggas want you. I'm good. Also, I feel like, say right when a girl is about to break up with you, she already made up her mind. Oh me. She already made up her mind. When a dude's about to do, do that shit, that nigga's making up his mind. He about to he about to do it then and there. So you probably oh, you probably you probably already fuck two niggas. I don't know. But from my experience, I don't feel like boys girl. really be breaking up with girls like that. I feel like it's always the girl. Bro, it's always the like girl. Like us, no, look, listen, cause boys, like it's we deal with the it bullshit. From, like I don't know how to explain it, bro. Like True. I don't know. I just don't see too many boys break up with Why niggas girls. Shit, enough is enough shit. Oh yeah, enough like we just we a distance ourselves, but we ain't gonna uh, like we ain't gonna go up to a girl and be like, oh yeah, we nah, broke up with it's, you. It's we breaking up with you. Things that a female can do is like, now nah, you gotta go. Like, yeah. You gotta go. If it makes you certain. Yeah, certain line. Like if you cheat. All right, we gotta break up. I mean, that's something that's already overstood. Like you, you gotta go. Damn. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, you do gotta go. Like somebody, somebody faking that they pregnant. Like you got, is this certain? Oh, faking. Pregnant is crazy. Like, like that is that's what we want to talk about right now. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta finish the other question though. Oh, yeah. That's part of that toxic oh, yeah. shit. Again, that's you, you no, say that's you saying some shit that has no benefit and that has no I'm just saying positive and just outcome. Random, yeah, like, why would you fake a pregnant? It'd be like some people that really be going through that shit, like what they crazy. Like I'm for like, real. Damn, that shit. Like that shit's not funny, bro. Oh, let me finish asking that last question though. I think um females cheat more and because they sneaky as fuck, so they do cheat, we probably won't even never find out. We cheat, we just don't give a fuck. Like, we so reckless. Like, we get called, we be on video, we be recording ourselves cheating on some dumb We're shit. not cheating to like, we're cheating for just 
you know, Sexual just get a nut off. Yeah. We not cheating for like looking for another relationship. They cheat. They bitch love cheat. that nigga. It's That's a relationship. Yeah, they good at hiding oh, shit. They good at hiding shit. Oh god, like, I say I never got cheated on my yeah. life, but who knows? They, I probably they, have. They just gonna be talking. Oh, they just gonna be talking to you like it's. They just gonna be talking to you like it's the next day or a normal day. Or the nigga. I think he gonna be talking. He gonna be talking different a little bit. I feel like girls leave emotionally before they leave physically through relationships. Like they be already, they don't you, they ain't gonna tell you. Now know what she's gonna leave your ass. But it's like you gonna you gonna you pick it up small. You be like some off, some off, but you just don't know yet. You don't know because she ain't saying nothing. And then it just happened out the blue. Which goes back to that communication shit. That communication at the beginning. God damn. Hey, this is a public announcement. Stop playing with that pregnancy shit. Oh, that is not a, that is not a damn joke. Like some women think that shit is funny. I've had multiple times where a woman thought it was funny to like try to prank me and shit. Like I'm pregnant, I'm like nah, that shit's not funny. Because once your feelings get hurt, and then you know, it's the truth. It's the truth. Like, it's the truth. like I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying if I if I know I got you pregnant, I'm gonna be the man I am. I ain't gonna do none of that. Ooh. Leaving a leaving a kid, four hundred thousand raising a kid over a lifetime. Might be more. Wait, what made you to eighteen? Who told you this shit? Oh, to eighteen. Oh, yeah, probably to eighteen. Yeah, to eighteen is like about four hundred, five hundred thousand. Mm, that's spread ID. You got daddy, mama. Yeah, you good. Yeah. But that's if you, that nigga living a you know a good life. You know that nigga. He ain't gotta worry about nothing. You know that nigga get to that age. He got a car and shit. Oh, he, yeah, he Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why you tough? You got nothing to say? Nah, that shit just crazy. For the females that's doing that shit, that shit's not okay. Yeah, nah, you fucking up my mental, my nigga. Yeah. If y'all that paranoid that you gonna get pregnant, just close your legs. Oh, open shit. open oh, up your mouth and close your legs. legs. No disrespect. Men but, respect women. Yeah, that. Men respect men. Women. women gotta respect men too, though. Of course, of course. If a nigga yeah. say he don't want to do it, respect him. And don't yeah. don't think of no shit like, oh, he cheating on me. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Respect that nigga but shit. Yeah. Right, look, we gonna wrap this podcast. It's a dirty game. I'm gonna say one final thing. To the people, be some advice, anything. Watch the people you trust. Uh. Make the most out of every day and keep God first. Okay, what else? What else? What else? I got one more. I got one <laughs> I'll more. Pass you, I'll pass you, I'll pass you, I man. bet. Go to my house. No, don't talk, man. All right, y'all. So my advice to y'all niggas at home is: what the nigga boy said his song. Only ones that can hurt you are the people around you. So watch the people around you, my nigga. And boys, no mean, no. Don't be on no rapey shit. Do not get a girl drunk just to have sex with her. That shit is weird. <laughs> Pretty sure, God damn it. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and listening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate y'all for tuning in and uh, just listening to what we got to say. New yeah. song dropping soon. I'll, I'll let y'all know when I start dropping again. I bet. Marquis, what you got to say? Shit, all I got to say is watch where you step and how you step. You feel me? Because, you know, you make the wrong path, you go down the wrong path, you can fuck yourself up. Um, keep hope, keep your hopes high, keep pushing, keep driving and shit. You know, your dreams is only as far as you make it, you feel me? My name is Marquise Jordan McGilver. I'm 6'1. I'm, I'm going to the NBA, baby! Hey, if y'all need fireworks inside Houston, Texas, Humble, Texas, Tassita, Texas, tap in small stage, big fireworks at 2325 Atascacita Road. Come pull up. Are you Turn up, so for real. Oh, we trapped the firework, oh, and I know this oh, gonna be out by Christmas. So anybody that's in Houston, humble anywhere in Houston, come out or follow me on Twitter and Instagram at mbk <laughs> underscore tj christian. Long live Dolph and blood makes you related. Loyalty makes you family. Bless up. Okay, okay, okay. Mud Boy! thicker than nah. <laughs> yeah, that, good, that hey, good. mud thicker than blood. On God. What'd you say? Shit, um, fr- um, Twitter is um, Fritmoo, that's F R I T M O O. Instagram is Spam Mark, that's Spam, like Spam, S P A M M A R M C G 2361. Okay, Troy, why be better? Okay. And then TikTok, TikTok's going up, baby. Um, Mark Heath, that's M A R Q U Y S M C G I L B R A. Let's get it.
Hey, Stone. What's your Instagram? What is your Instagram? I was trying to tell you. Too. Heartcastle, H. Three A R T C A S T L E. Yes, I need to change that shit. So the I need to I need to rebrand my shit. It's the same thing. Sounds like hard cap. I need to rebrand my shit, but make sure the, the three the E is a three. Yeah, the E is a three. I'm gonna rebrand my shit though. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back on this platform. All right, y'all. That's the end of the podcast. Man, it's been a while. I actually enjoyed this whole. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this whole in the comments, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, bro. It says seventy five percent of y'all that watch my videos not even subscribe. Like it's fucking free, like. Comment down below. Comment right now, like comment. Who, who, what was look, your favorite thing? Yeah, what was your what favorite, was your favorite thing doing the podcast? Comment down below. What was your favorite part of the podcast? What was the part you didn't agree with? Comment all that shit. We want to hear y'all opinions. Yo, what y'all want to see on the next podcast? We are gonna do it again when we come back after Christmas. But yeah, y'all. We got this whole two five L young boys. Long live, <laughs> dog, man. Long live, great. Long live. Be someone, man. Houston.